Hey everybody, Boondock here. This is uh, my third video in the 90 Day Stay Sober series. The purpose of these videos is to uh, help people uh, overcome alcohol and alcohol addiction. Um, I think any kind of alcohol is not good for you. It's all poison. It's not meant for you. And so a lot of, uh, first of all, it's, 6.03 in the morning, I'm at the end of my work shift. Uh, there's a radio here, you might hear some of that. I'm a little foggy right now, a little tired. Uh, not just because of the withdrawals, but because I've been awake all night. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to do a video every day for the 90 day Stay Sober uh, series. And this is the third video. I'm actually on day five. So, it should have been day two. Sorry about that. I'm going to try to get better at that. But the anxiety level and the withdrawals I was getting, I wasn't shaking in bed or anything. I was sweating my ass off and looking like throwing up and looking like it was the exorcist going on or anything in my bed. But definitely a little hard to sleep on day two. Uh, the anxiety level was through the roof. Uh, I forced myself to stay at work longer so I would be tired when I got back and still hard to sleep. And then the liquor store was closed by the time I left, which helped. I had to do that for the second day to force myself. The first day wasn't bad because I was hungover anyway, but the second day was, second day was rough. Um, third day kind of the same. And earlier today was the fourth day, and I'm noticing the clarity is coming back, which is why I decided to buckle down and do another video, even though I'm at work. The clarity is coming back, my energy levels are coming back. Uh, I think I've, I've got a few more days to the alcohol completely. I, I don't know how much, I think everybody's different, but definitely uh, noticing a lot of clarity coming back. Uh, still very foggy. Uh, still going strong. Five. Let's get it, baby. Um, stick with me. Let's do it together every day. Uh, I think I need to emphasize the uh, importance of a importance of a good diet when you um, when you go in sober. Uh, try to just eat meat and vegetables. This is just this is my opinion. Uh, it helps out instead of the processed foods. You know. When you don't have that alcohol, your body's freaking out. Like if you didn't have water for a couple days, because you're so used to drinking it. Um, if you're a heavy drinker like me, which is pretty much seven days a week for ten years, so you need to give it that. You need to give it that nutrition. You need to give it something else to cope with and help you rebuild. Help your body rebuild. So I would just say stick to all veggies or or meat and veggies. Uh, no Fritos, no Bugles, no Flamin' Hots, no Pringles, no Fago, no uh, no chocolate milk. Regular milk's okay. No chocolate milk. No no ice cream. No sundaes. Uh, I don't like to eat that way anyway, so that was that was a lot easier for me. But um, I didn't say stay away from the sugars and uh, all the all the all the processed crap. It's just gonna make you feel. It's just gonna make you feel worse. It's gonna make it harder for you. It makes you feel like crap anyway when you take a couple days off and eat that stuff, and, and then uh, you notice how much better you feel. So you're already gonna feel like crap from the withdrawal. So even fruits. I don't need a lot of fruits, but if that's not, everybody's different, so maybe maybe your body reacts differently to the fruit and it, it helps you out. But I know there's a lot of natural sugars in there too. But everybody's different, so whatever. The healthiest thing for your body type is to eat, you know, try to eat that, plenty of water, and uh, stay mentally tough. Uh, one good tip I would like to say is uh, even if you're, if you haven't quit yet and you plan on doing it, have a friend or, or, or your significant other or or even do it yourself, just, just have those beers, get to that point where you are sloppy or when you're done with your beer even if you're not sloppy because you don't you think you know how you feel you 
think you're not looking sloppy. And just record yourself. And look at your face, record yourself. Just basically say what you're doing, what time it is, where you're at. This is only for you, the video is only for you. And then when you get to the, the, the then quit, you know, the next day. And then when you get to the point where you're kind of struggling, go back and look at that video and look at yourself. Uh, once you've been a day sober or two days sober and look at yourself and look at how you're reacting and uh, I mean to me I've seen videos of myself drinking and uh, it's a shame it's a shame it really is I hate who I am I've seen the way that I talk to people when I'm drunk and, and now that I'm sober you know if I ran into that guy I'd be like what a jackass you know um, generally I kept it pretty cool I don't, I don't drink in a lot of company anyway. So I would say do that. Make a video of yourself before you start while you're still drinking. That's a, that's a main point I wanted to make today is make a video of yourself. Uh, a longer video is better. And if you're like me when you're drinking, you'll want to do a longer video anyway. You'll be, you'll be more than willing and have plenty of things to say no matter if they make sense or not. And hold on to that, save it, and, and watch it when you're tempted. So, uh, what else? Um, I kind of want to break off into uh, uh, different topics with these videos, and maybe do separate videos on certain topics other than uh, what this video is going to be, um, which is the day five video that's actually supposed to be the day three video. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to go. I, I, the fogginess is still with me. I don't know where to go from here with it. Um, just stay strong. Uh, look for more content coming from me on this. Uh, hit that bell or, or subscribe. Um, I, I really hope it helps. Uh, there was something else I wanted to discuss. I guess I would say, I guess I, I could put this in here, the temptation yesterday it's always an argument between two sides of you the sides of you that wants to quit obviously and the side of you that wants to drink and everybody knows that but it's very sneaky the way the subconscious to drink works I mean yesterday it seemed like a decent idea to me but now today just one day more of being clear headed I recognized what the other side of me was trying to do, which is, I was telling myself, well, maybe I'll, 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 I'll stay sober, but if somebody else buys beer for me, then I'll only drink that, you know, like, I'll go to parties, and my plan is to stay sober, but if somebody brings a 12-pack and says it's all yours, or if there's beer in the cooler, it's all yours, then I'll drink that day, and then when I go home, I won't drink because I'll have to pay for it, and if I just drink other people's beer, basically, uh, which is only going to happen every once in a while because nobody ever offers you beer, except for if you're at a party or something, then, you know, that'll be okay, because it won't be that often. That's all bullshit. I mean, I'm realizing what I was telling myself yesterday, it's just, it's ridiculous. It sounds feasible, but it's not. And you're just going to reset that whole clock. You're going to reset the, the the damage to your liver that's recovering. Um, finally, your liver's saying, hey, I'm cleaning out. Everything's good. And then you're, you're just going to reset yourself. You're going to want to drink the same day. Don't listen to those the next day. Don't listen to those thoughts. You're not just going to... Well, at least me. I mean, I'm just talking about me. When I say you... It doesn't particularly pertain to you, but you know what I mean. And yeah, I'd drink that 12-pack at the party, and then the next day I'd, I'd be right back on to it. So at least do the 90 days. I'm not saying 30 days. I'm not saying 60 days. I'm pushing it to 90 days. I'm pushing it to three months. And see how you feel. That's what I'm going to do. And if I fall back into it, well, fuck me. But... I don't feel like I will uh, at 90 and I was always very productive 
Um, before I started drinking, I was definitely productive while I was drinking. And, but there was a lot of things I didn't do. So, I want to see how, more, how much more productive I can be. Even, even things like going for a simple walk with your, with your girlfriend or your kid, you know, and now you're seven beers in and you don't want to, you don't want to take that walk. Oh, we'll do it later. Blah, 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 blah. Let me finish my beers. Blah, 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 blah. I'm tired. I've been at work all day. We'll do it later. So anyway, it's been a fairly, uh, fairly long video and I'm sure I gotta have to get back to work here pretty soon. Uh, so let's do this again. Yeah, guys, subscribe, hit the bell, comment. If you don't, and all you do is take, uh, all you take from this is, is uh, getting sober and getting sober with me, and don't even worry about all that crap because it's really not a concern to me. Uh, I mean, it'd be nice. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just an average, average, hardworking Joe. He's worked for everything in his whole life. Never had a handout. Everything, first car, cell phone. I'm a '90s baby, early '90s baby, '90 baby actually. Uh, had to pay for all everything. You know. Coil. Mom and dad never helped me out. They put shoes on my feet and gave me hand-me-down clothes and stuff like that, but nothing extra. So let's uh, let's stick with it, guys. Uh, and yeah, have a good day. Stay strong. Uh, if, if, if you're feeling weak or something, put your questions, put your questions and comments down below, and uh, I can bring them up in uh, the next video, and we can discuss them, and we can discuss them together. So, let's see where this takes us. Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see where the journey leads, uh, where the journey goes. Uh, I don't want to make this too much longer, but I just thought about something. Uh, you know, it's good. I'm trying to give myself an opportunity as well as you uh, by doing this every day. So when, when you get tempted, you know, we're going to go through that together and I'm going to have that temptation too. And you can click on my video of the day or my previous video and use that to, to give you strength, you know, uh, 12 to 15 beers a day is, is no joke. And that's what I pretty much had seven days a week and it, uh, it cost a lot of money and um, took a lot from me and uh, I want to get I want to get some of that back and I want to get I want to get sober and I know you do too so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for us for me for my family and you do it for for you and your family but first and foremost do it for yourself and the way I what helped me start let's just say this what helped me start with it was it's kind of a cheat I would say but you can tell yourself this uh, do the 90 days like I said if you feel like drinking afterward fuck it then then drink but make your decision then and, and look at how your life's changed that's that's what I'm gonna do and uh I don't, I don't see myself going back to that this time. And if you fail, try again. I mean, this isn't the first time I've tried to tried to do this. This is the first time I've, I've put it on video to kind of hold myself accountable. But I've tried to quit you know, a handful of times. I went 30 days before. All on my own, no help. You know, no AA or whatever, none of that crap. Which if you need that and you need that support system, that's good too. I don't mean to call it crap, but I think everybody's perfectly capable of doing it on their own. And, having that willpower and developing that willpower. So anyway, I don't want to rattle on. There's plenty more days to put out content and plenty more to discuss at a different time. So boondock out. You got you you all out there have a great evening, day, afternoon, whatever it is. It's, I'm off. Like I said, 617 in the morning. And we'll see you next time.